इंडिया स्पीक्स डेली को सब्सक्राइब करें उसके बेल आइकन को जरूर दबाएं यदि आपको इसकी पत्रकारिता पसंद हो धन्यवाद हेलो एवरीबडी वेलकम टू इंडिया स्पीक्स डेली दिस इज रति अग्निहोत्री India is emerging as the pharmacy of the world said prime minister narendra modi as he was addressing the video conference meeting of the non aligned movement on the covid-19 crisis talking about india's leading and forthcoming role in combating the crisis worldwide prime minister highlighted how india had shown its magnanimity to the whole world by taking lead in supplying the anti malarial drug hydroxychloroquine to so many countries while making sure its sufficient availability domestically as well Not just this particular drug India sent medical supplies to 123 partner countries in all including 59 countries of the NAM After Prime Minister Modi's initiative in organizing the virtual SAR conference on the COVID-19 crisis the virtual NAM conference became yet another opportunity for India to take a lead in the developing world When the non-alignment movement was launched its concerns were to keep a check on imperialism colonialism and apartheid but with time its relevance seems to have shrunk a lot as these concerns have dissipated on surface however many of these concerns have actually not disappeared it's just that their manifestations have changed colonialism has reinvented itself in the form of neocolonialism and the cultural hegemony of the west the samples of which we see in the english language education system and the lutens elite who are a product of that kind of an elite education system new colonialism still manifests itself in the way such so called educated indians view everything every development through the perspective of western knowledge systems western way of looking at things and thus they make fun of many elements of indian culture and have utter disregard for anyone and everyone who doesn't fit into that western liberal mold that is one of the reasons they hate our prime minister so much because he doesn't fit into that ideal of the elite oxford university educated guy who speaks english in a certain way stereotype So coming back to the point about Nam India can indeed play a decisive role in addressing many concerns of the developing world including the onslaught of neo colonialism through the non aligned movement or any other forum for that matter As Prime Minister Narendra Modi rightly pointed out in the video conferencing meet India has indeed emerged as the pharmacy of the world in such pressing times not just supplying medicines to countries across the world but also sharing its experience in combating epidemics with the world at large by giving online training to medical experts from other countries and now it's the right time for india to emerge as the radical change center of the world take charge of all developing countries and lead the world towards development of a more inclusive egalitarian world order As the Prime Minister also said, after the coronavirus pandemic, the world will need a new world order based on fairness and equality. It is in this context of fairness and equality that challenging the hegemony of the West in defining the development paradigm of the world till now assumes importance. Problems like global warming and climate change are byproducts of the constant exploitation of natural resources by the developed world and now India and many developing countries bear the brunt of it. Many problems of India are still a byproduct of the colonial period, the British rule and the constant plunder of resources they indulged in and even worse than that the inferiority complex instilled in the psyche of many Indians and their subservience towards all things English and white. Coronavirus has already started turning the tables of the global order. It is the developed world this time that is at the root of the crisis. It is the developed world that is seeing maximum casualties. Its over-exaggerated concepts of individual freedom went against the safety of its own people as it failed to implement lockdowns where lives of people were at risk due to the fear of infringing upon the personal rights and privileges of people. 
on the other extreme stands a country like china which completely tramples down on the civic liberties of its people india is the country that has emerged as the balance center drawing a fine balance between implementing a strict lockdown and respecting the freedom of its citizens and it is this balanced center that needs to take a decisive leadership role on the world stage now thank you